Hello, my lovely Scorpions. Welcome to your March sun sign reading. I hope you're doing well, taking care of yourselves. When I was pre-shuffling the cards, the strength card came out. So I think that is a sign right there that you are finding strength within to battle. To battle and face your darkness. And that's beautiful. Faith. You're finding your faith. Studying religion even. But you're connecting to the light. You're facing your darkness. You're finding your faith. You're balancing yourself. And I also feel very deeply connected to prayer in here. It may very well be the prayer of a start of a new life. This message is resonating with you. It's for you. If not, I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you for joining me here though, as always. Page of Coins. So the Page of Pentacles. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone's energy that you're connecting to that maybe is even giving you faith or helping restore your faith. And it's um, a very, it's a very loving connection. It's very heartfelt. It's from the heart. I can definitely feel the presence of nature here. I can definitely feel safety here. Like you feel safe with this person. Whether it be a person or actually feeling safety in nature right now, just finding your faith in nature. Remember, it will resonate differently with everyone. Now, we have the star. <clears throat> now, we know that scorpions are very psychic, very connected to the other side. And it's like, I feel that presence here. I feel like a strength in knowing that in the, in, in the cosmic presence and I really feel the alchemy of that like how it's just helping your energies to flow how it's helping to actually restore your faith this connection to the cosmos this your your psychic abilities your psychic connections are like what are helping restore your faith right now and why if you're being called to study religion, you know, there's obviously a reason for that. So don't be afraid to study. We've got the nine of swords here. And I really feel like, I really feel like this energy, you just got so used to this energy, like you're so afraid of the monsters, the boogeymen, the fears. Like on the path of the moon, within like whatever's happened, that's why you've had to have such a deep faith restored. And there's still such a deep fear there, which is why your faith is so important right now. And it's fear of something happening to you within again. You don't you don't want that to happen within, but it's just like it's there. It's outside your window. At night when you go to sleep, but you gotta find faith. 
and heal with the star. And then we have the Ten of Coins. And if this is about finances, you know, whatever is you're connecting to with here, the energy of this page of coins, it's going to help you to be able to just walk through the door of your new life and connect to your abundance. This fear, you need to do the work to remove those swords. Because then we've got the Three of Cups celebration. And like, look, the two of the two of coins, two of pentacles, like grounding something, grounding and balancing the dark with the light. And you actually finally feeling your connection to the planets. Like you ground your psychic abilities. And it makes them stronger. And not so frightening. It's like now you're ready to create. Now creation's happening. Look at that. There we go. The magician, the ace of wands, the fool, new beginnings. Like that's gorgeous. Ace of pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful energies when you walk through that door. Right here. Of abundance. This archway walk through the archway and there's your abundance now let's just clarify with the amazing spirit science tarot well the patch tarot there we go king of cups and there is your energy right there this is masculine energy so it's a little less emotional right in control of emotion psychic abilities right there responsive and look now the okay there's the crab we know that the crab is on the path of the moon so when now that the king has the cup in his hand the crab is in his hand so he's faced the darkness within faced the path within and now ready to create and ready to create with love is responsive to love now all right let's clarify the page of coins here all right wow that's beautiful now we have the queen of discs, which is queen of pentacles, queen of coins. Right there. Now the energy's matured. It's supportive. Okay, and here we go once again. Connection to nature. Connection to the tree of life. Connection to studying. Studying why we're here. Studying our purpose. Getting back to nature nature building new earth connection to the water i really feel though that this queen of discs is connected to water whether she have water in her chart or water but this there's a connection here let's like with the heart and the earth Hey, it's okay. He just dropped something. He dropped something. It's okay. All right. Now, biscuit poo. Sorry, guys. It's okay. You're good. With clarifying the star, we have Ascension, Six of Swords. Well, doesn't that say a lot? 
Ascension, Six of Swords, okay? And yeah, this is a coming together of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. With the King of Cups, we've got the Queen of, the Queen of Discs and the Six of Swords. There's coming together of energies whether they be a balance restored within masculine and feminine or actually coming together of two people now of you of you finding um a really healthy balanced supportive love wow clarifying the nine of swords look at that we've got the king of discs determined Okay, and now these are counterparts, what we just discussed. There's counterparts right there. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You need to be determined to follow the light. So when you are in this Nine of Swords energy, you need to switch to grounding and it's king. So we know in control of emotions more logical, more left brain thinking, but still connection to heart and mother earth. Following the light, climbing the mountain within. But it's so beautiful because now you've got the 10 of coins with the 10 of cups. Look where you're going. This is beautiful. It's prosperity like it's prosperity the ten of coins the ten of cups and we have the nine of wands it's not being a sloth it's not following the the path within it's not just saying oh, I'm not gonna do it it's having the faith in yourself to to face it within and endure it and having the endurance to do so using self-care to continue to gain the momentum and go back in there it doesn't happen overnight you're going to restore your passion in your life now we have the queen of wands to begin to create to be in the queen of wands energy for creation Look, with the Princess of Swords, being creative. And I really feel like for you, it's it's like your energy is putting an end to struggles. Putting the end of struggles to struggles. Because then like we've come full circle. We have the Ten of Discs, the Ten of Coins, which is right here. And it's, it's your legacy. It's your legacy. It's something... I feel like you were trying to build something here and it got twisted and now you're untwisting it. And this is the way it was always meant to be written in the stars. Now you just have to do the work, okay? Because there you are, resurrection, evolution. Beautiful. And I want you to see that this card is connected to the moon. It says so right on the card. Continue to face the path within. What's going on within. That's the key. Now let's see what's being activated. What is being activated for you? Oh, there it is. Well, that's beautiful. Two of Cups. And this is what you're looking for. What a beautiful reading. The Two of Cups. The coming together of Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Whether that be within or actual union for you. That's beautiful. True love. Happy March.
Two of Cups, Two of Cups, where are you? Two lovers hold each other's hands as they join their lives together. Although they do not share the same skin color, they see into the heart and soul of each other and know that they have met their match. As a result of their openness, they decide to join their lives together in ceremony. The challenge is to keep the lines of communication open and to learn how to grow into their love. They have each other to lean on and the chalices help nourish each other. This card tells us that when we allow our heart to guide us into relationships, the bond is everlasting. Perfect love, a harmonious relationship, match based on a mutual trust. Perfect love. It's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. What a beautiful time. Thank you for joining me here. I will see you again soon. Take care.